and welcome back. We are venturing off now into our third segment for uh, this morning. So far, so good. Lovely, uh, lovely conversation, actually. We're now about to uh, chit chat with the UE representative, actually, Open Campus Guild executives who are here with us. In with us is none other than uh, Khalees Timbrell, who is the chapter secretary. We've got as well Hassani. Martinez, I could see that, right? I could miss the second name. Yeah. <laughs> Hassan Martinez. He's a communication and public relations officer. And Angeli Flores, who's a chapter treasurer as well. Uh, guys, good morning. Welcome. Loving the jackets. I could tell you that much. And uh, it's Thank nice you. to have you in. Great to Okay. Um, let's venture off into it. Chapter executive, uh, UB Open Campus, Guild Executives. Guys, talk to us about it. Anybody, just jump on it. It's a wonderful conversation we're about to have. Okay, so good morning. First of all, thank you for having us here. Mm -hmm. The three of us here are here to represent the Guild Executive. Um, our Guild Executive consists of our Chapter Chair, Vice Chapter Chair, mm -hmm. uh, Committee Liaisons, myself as the Treasurer, Mr. Hassani as the Communications and Publicity Officer, and Khalees as the Chapter Treasurer. Mm so basically what we come here to do today is to bring across to, the, to other students and to the general public our events that we have in mind to, for the uh, upcoming months ahead. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what we want to do and share with everyone our events. Yeah. All right. Now you're newly elected to the executive, right? Um, and I want to just find out uh, what prompted you to put yourself forward for the uh, potential posts and uh, why it is an important addition to uh, what you're doing with your education so far? Let's start with you, Hassani. Well, um, so far when it comes to UA, um Student Council, U, the UV Guild, it's mm -hmm. another name for Student Council. Yeah, okay. that's okay. what it is. Okay. Um, I am the type of individual, I want to be in a school that is active, mm -hmm. have different activities that they, that they, that they call at the school, mm -hmm. and we can, we can, instead of just being full-time, just students as in work, 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 we need to have recreational time as well, yeah. you know, and we need a body that can create that. And we're that body, you know, we, we're a very active group and mm -hmm. we're trying to be the best University of the West Indies chapter guild yeah. that has ever been at the University of the Open Campus, believe. Ah. You have yes, your mission is. set out, mm. yeah? Right. <laughs> Individually for you ladies? Okay, for me, like Hassani said, I like dealing with people mm -hmm. and I want to see our school move forward and let me just add in like our first activity that we're going to do for this semester is the school drive whereas we feel like we need to give back to the community mm -hmm. so we're going to um, have a school drive on the 25th of this month mm -hmm. we invite mm -hmm. different I know, kids that's going back to school and we're going to give them school supplies and a backpack if anyone wants to donate they can just simply contact me at 6, 15, 74, 45, mm -hmm. or they can drop whatever they want to donate at the open campus. Okay. All right. And Anjali, why did you decide to put yourself forward for the Guild I Executive? Th I think that being a part of the Guild Executive is a wonderful experience. You get to um, work with others, learn about how others, um, um, how you can work with others then, um, making, um, working with others in events, mm -hmm. and as well as, um, putting yourself forward to uh, the future, you know, when it comes to the workplace and other yeah. um, experiences. All right, and for you, uh, 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 Khalees, mm -hmm. that's a good name, by the way. Uh, Khalees, why do you choose UA? Well, because I'm pursuing a paralegal, uh, my associates in paralegal, and I personally think, now this is my perspective, mm -hmm. that the University of the West Indies is one of the best universities here that <laughs> offer for legal studies. Yeah. And that's about it. And I also want to venture off to the campus of Mono in Jamaica. Okay. And it's like a easier get gateway to go there. That's right. Yeah. And, and Hassani? Oh well you I won't be I won't be boasting too much, but I believe you <laughs> likewise as she said, is indeed uh, not arguably mm -hmm. the best institution in Belize. And I choose UA because they offer many different courses. Yeah. They offer at different levels. And if you were listening yesterday, it was the launch of the Faculty of Sports. Mm -hmm. So you can know, you know, when your mommy and daddy used to tell you, boy, I don't want you to sports. Mm -hmm. try, to ma try to be qualified in math, try to be qualified in science. Mm -hmm. Now they can go and get qualified in sports. Yeah. Yes, oh. you can have a bachelor degree in sports. You can be a, you can study sports sports management. 
yeah. you know, and we need that in Belize as well because mm -hmm. sports is not just for recreational time now, it's for business as well. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. What are you studying? So currently I'm studying associate um, paralegal, mm -hmm. paralegal studies. I, I want to become a lawyer in the okay. future. Mm -hmm. This is my last year of, of um, doing that so this this may be my last year serving as a member as the uh, so you uh, want to make it memorable yeah I want to make it memorable <laughs> and for you Angelique well in addition to it being the best university here in Belize it is also um, very flexible for me since I am I am working and I'm studying so oh. I can be at home and studying online yeah. it's very flexible to the yeah. students and what degree are you pursuing um, my bachelor's in accounting Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Now, I, I love the fact, and, and Anjali, you really gave the perspective that I wanted to touch on a bit, because I think that what the open campus has offered is really for people want to get specialized degrees that weren't necessarily available before in country because you have access to uh, online classes. Um, what's it like for building a student community of persons who come at different times, who are seeking different courses. It's not like a, a campus like people expect to see when they go to a university. So you have a tough task getting everybody on board. How do you, how do you maneuver that part of it? Okay, well, we, like, it's an online thing, so mm -hmm. we would send all emails, we will call, mm -hmm. uh, we just do stuff like online and then they will come to the campus and we're gonna meet and, like, meet and greet. Yeah. We just mm -hmm. had a meet and greet and that's the way how we interact with our students. Yeah, so they still want that interaction, just yes, of course at a, a good point in their schedule, right? Yeah. yeah. But actually, okay. you, you did mention at the start, uh, activities and I think I heard one activity what are what other activities will be uh, enrolled okay um, well currently for the September we are collaborating with sit and sip mm -hmm. in which we will be hosting um, a mixer with sit and sip so we will be inviting students of the UA mm -hmm. to other students from different uh, um, schools mm -hmm. and as well the general public to come and share with us this wonderful night at sit and sip it will be on the 27th of September, okay. and we will be having giveaways and um, special guests as well. Really? Okay. Yes. So, uh, you have social activities, obviously seems to be a part of uh, your mandate. What do you want to achieve? Uh, you, you spoke about being the best guild executive, uh, and there's so many UWI campuses, you're a lot, you have a lot of competition. <laughs> But what do you find will be your main vision as the executive? When you had your platform and you were campaigning for your post, um, what do you want to achieve as the new executive? Well, we, we would like to have much more student interactions. Yeah. And we, we want to, rep because also apart from we reacting with them, we also represent them whenever we have meetings, yeah. international okay. meetings with the other guilds, as you, uh, guild members, mm -hmm. as you mentioned. Yeah. Um, and we want to represent them well and we want to let them know and be aware of what we're doing for them because it's not for us mm -hmm. the guild executive mm -hmm. we're there to represent the students yeah. and represent them well um so, so that's that's one of our main achievements that we would like to achieve as as guild members no as a guild executive mm -hmm. Okay. It's, uh, th this is not your first time uh, as part of the guild executive, right? No, I was a part of it. Le the last, the, I was a part of the last guild executive. I was the vice chapter chair. Mm -hmm. Now I'm the public relation and communication officer. Well, one of the things uh, coming out of that is that now you become an idol to other students who are yeah. there. What is it like being at a guild, ex uh, guild executive meeting with other guilds from across uh, UWE, other uh, different campuses? What is that like for you and what it's, does that bring uh, forth to Belize? Well, it's a learning experience. The culture is totally different. You know, they, they like, they're very outspoken and they're very, they, they, they want to get things done. They want to look, want the school to look good. Embrace mm -hmm. UA and embrace UA, the University of the West Indies very mm -hmm. well because it, it's worth it. You, when you go to UA, you, and you come out from you, you're like a changed person. You're very determined <laughs> to work. Yeah. You know, because before I, before I went to you, I was <laughs> like, you, you know, you need that extra push. Mm -hmm. You will give you that. Mm -hmm. You know, it inspires you to do better mm -hmm. and yeah. better than your better. 
Do you understand? I, <laughs> I love you. It's a challenging school. Yeah. Yes. It is. It's very challenging. Um, very demanding. Uh, when you're done from there, you're yeah. good. Yeah. You're very good. <laughs> now, talk to us about having uh, prospective students. What do you tell prospective students about attending UE Open Campus? I would say go for it. Yeah. Because if you want to work, um, like Anjali said, you can work and you can also attend your classes and you can do it on your own time. It's not like you have to be here 8 o'clock and you're going to go home 10 o'clock. Yeah. No, you can do it on your own time. Yeah. And they also have um, cor course coordinators and they have different forums where as you participate, you ask questions and you get your feedback. Like it's a normal school, but you do it on your own pace. Yeah. So I would say go for it as long as you have discipline, of course. Mm -hmm. Got to be very disciplined. And they're yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Because as the as a moment you slip, you can lose out a lot. The moment yeah. you slip, you can lose out a lot, lot, lot. You have to stay on it and keep organized. Because remember, you're, you're, you're self organizing yourself. It's not like in, in yeah. the classroom whereby the teacher will be, okay, get this. You have to organize. You have your material you and you're responsible to and cover it. And we have a portal that helps you and assists yeah. you yeah. to organize it good. Anjali, tell us about balancing the work and the school. Okay, well, it's a re um, it really has to do with a lot of time management. Mm -hmm. You will need to schedule out your time. Normally at school, the teacher gives you a work plan, schedule, this is what you'll do at this time. So when you're at UWE, you need to do that all on your own. You need to schedule out your time, um, maybe 8 to 5 work, and then what you will do in the night. Um, separate like at least 2 or 3 hours every night. Mm -hmm. And on the weekends, sometimes you would have to sacrifice that as well in order to, you know, be able to keep up with your keep workload. Up with your work. Do you find it challenging? It is a challenge, but um, it is very like a really nice challenge. Then. Yeah. <laughs> now, how does the online community help you? Because I, I, I don't want. I know sometimes people think online means, man, you're going to be suffering alone in your home with your yeah. laptop. Mm -hmm. uh, but you also have a wider community, your yeah. portal that you're going to work with. How does uh, that help to support you, to keep you driven to stay on your educational path? Um, so with our classes, this is what happens. Yeah. Well, for paralegal, we have 10% for um, assignments. Well, 20% because you get three assignments and you're going to drop your lowest grade. Mm -hmm. And then it's 75% for your exams. So now when you have assignments, you're going you're gonna to meet your, um, your classmates on the portal and you're going to create WhatsApp groups and you're going to communicate to each or another and you know say okay I have an idea this is what I can do this oh. is what you can do so it's going to be very easy for you it's like yeah. you're in a regular classroom yeah yeah, yeah. there's this um, program the blackboard collaboration program mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um you can actually it's just you, you see like when you're in a classroom setting mm -hmm. there's students there you can see their names it's mm -hmm. organized so if you want to discuss with your peers you can just message them on that on mm -hmm. that um, feature the app allows that and you can talk to the other students as well in the classroom. You can raise your hand. It's just like it, just as it's, it's a bit virtual. You, you can raise yeah. your hand in it. There's a raise your hand There's option. There's a press a button. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> it makes it makes your life easier. I mean, yeah. you, you will enjoy it, and it teaches you discipline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you know when you're online on your computer, maybe you can be at home. Yes. And then maybe your sister, your your mom, they they can be distracted, or maybe you, you you have a pet that you love that can distract you, <laughs> and you can say, hey, let me just go. No, you need to have discipline. Yeah. And okay. that teaches you that because it tr trust me, t because the teacher will ask you questions mm -hmm. show that BBC session that you need to answer. Yeah. So you have to stay focused, and you can lose. We, we, we know that UAE is very reputable throughout uh, Central uh, throughout the Caribbean, actually, and a lot of folks would like to attend, but. People also think about the expenses. We know that when it comes to education, it is actually the key. It's something that you really need. So you get that, or you try to pursue it at UA. Opportunity scholarship-wise, do, do, we, do we find these things? Because a lot of people want to be a part of what is reputable. Yeah. That's indeed, um, may we, our, our, our principal, mm -hmm. um, Ms. Rock, would be the one perfect to answer that question <laughs> for you. But we actually, UA actually offers scholarships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They offer scholarships every year, a yeah. good amount of scholarships, and you can apply. But to go in details with that, Miss mm -hmm. Rock can, she'll be the <laughs> first person. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you're in an element there, Hassani. I like that. Uh, what's next for you? You're saying that this is your last year. What's next for you? <coughs> well, I am going to apply to do my Bachelor of Law in yeah. at Barbados, Kiovil, the university, and I'll be an, I want to be an attorney. I will be an attorney, I should All say. Right, there and you I go. can be 
her attorney That's and my Marlon is a <laughs> so don't I forget. don't intend to need a lawyer so <laughs> stick with you never know, if you do need one come to me <laughs> but I, I love I love the enthusiasm this, that I hear right. about your education but I just to, I want to give you an opportunity obviously to close off about uh, sure. your role as uh, student leaders and what you really hope to be able to deliver to the rest of your students um, to the rest of your fellow students uh, during the course of your tenure, right? So let's just talk about that. You spoke about you have a upcoming um, event at Sit and Sip. You mm -hmm. want to be able to kind of build the social interaction. So even though you're going to school online, you can still have that student feeling um, when you interact with other persons. Let's talk about what you personally hope you can contribute to your fellow students. Okay, as the secretary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I basically deal with the executive guild, yeah. but like to deliver to the guild itself, mm -hmm. I, I want to see us move forward. I want us to work in unity. And uh, well, how can I say this? I'm trying to put the words together. Yeah. <laughs> Just but, say yeah. it the way you feel it. That's mm -hmm. usually the best way, yeah. Yeah, um, gosh, how can I say this? <laughs> But yes, I just want us to move forward and, you know, help each one another and just move forward, basically. That's yeah. what I want us to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, with, with the Gil, I, I want us to, uh, as he said, I want us to come together more and have students more interact mm -hmm. uh, as much as they can. Um, I wanted to add as well to the citizens that we have, an, we will have something at, for Carnival. We'll be okay. out there and we'll be giving away shirts, we'll be selling some stuff. Um, and we got, that's going to be like a fundraiser for us as well. Okay. No? Um, well, I want us to, to move, I want us to be a guild that when, because remember, our, we, we stand by on site, on demand, mm -hmm. and online. So we want to have students involved on the site as well. Mm -hmm. And we have activities where we, we can interact a lot face to face mm -hmm. with students and have them be familiarized with us, mm -hmm. familiarized with the things that UWE offers mm -hmm. instead of just sometimes sitting at home. So they can accommodate for time yeah. to be with us and we can discuss things that are going to happen currently with the, within the institution mm -hmm. you know because we have a lot listed and we have a calendar as well that we will also be showcasing to students so they can see different events that we will be having yeah, yeah. okay well in the ue when it comes to the guild executive there are some guild fees that students would pay so as the treasurer, I want to have that accountability and transparency when it comes to the money that they are giving to the school. So um, I don't want for the money to just, you know, um, stay on hold. We want for the students to enjoy the life of the university mm -hmm. while paying their fees. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate you all stopping in uh, to share what you hope to be able to accomplish. And best of luck, not just with your education, but obviously in undertaking your roles and functions as a part of the Guild Executive. All right? We're going to go ahead now and take a break. And when we come back, we'll be talking to Dara about his annual Hunger Awareness Rides. So stay tuned.